Trotter and Eddie Payne. Eddie Payne. He tried to call it off. Number 52 is Ernie Claiborne. He's the only Jamboree that this Thursday night. Number 52 is Ernie Claiborne. He's the only jammer this the perfect way to explain this fast acting sport. Now here's a secondary jammer and little Richard is going. Watch these little feet. They really pick up ground. Puts them up, lays them down and really gains. However, before the second jammer could get there, the first jammer, Ernie Claiborne, picked up some points and it looks like Little Richard thought he too had picked up points. He didn't like that call, Little Richard. He's screaming to the official here. He thought he scored, but the referee said no. There's Abel Era again. He seems to be doing most of the offensive jamming tonight, but here comes Little Richard and I mean he's coming. There's a block. Now Lara's getting a little bit back when he's been dishing out. And look at little Richard. He's making up for all Roy Graham took. And the crowd is roaring its approval. Little Richard here, he can do no wrong. Now Brown is motioning for an assist here. He knows Lara. He doesn't want Lara to grab. Vinnie Gandalfo knocked him down. And now it's little Richard that's doing identically the same type of roughhouse skating against Abel Lara. One point for the Eastern Warrior team that time. And There's one and one in front of the pack. Anybody can break out of there now that there is one and one. That's the only way a jam can start. And it looks like with excellent teamwork, Little Richard got out. And they show excellent teamwork. Heads up skating here. And Little Richard with a little opening. Out he goes. Oh, he's an exciting skater. You Eastern Seaboard fans are really going to be thrilled when you see this young man skate. Oh, there's that problem again. And the problem, Louis the Tiger Sanchez. Sanchez locks him up to the rail. Keeps him up there. Gandalfo is looking. Sanchez signaling to the team. Keep him all up there. Sanchez is handling this uh, job here single-handedly. Little Richard knows it now. Richard is going to make contact again. Sanchez dumps him down. Holds him down. And if he's down for longer than three seconds, that automatically will call the playoff. more about his background. Richard, as I always say in our telecast, you're certainly an inspiring skater to your team, and we'll find out something about you. Your fans, you know, are going to be watching you for a long time. Uh, you have great speeds. Uh, speed, what uh, sports did you participate in high school? Well, I uh, wrestled in high school and ran track. Well, you're sort of an all-around athlete then, is that it? Uh, yeah. Is there any other sports you wish you had tried? Well, I started off with gymnastics, but wrestling interfered with it and basketball. Well, uh, when did you actually start training for the bank track here? Uh, 14 years old. When you were 14, where, where did you start training? Oakland, California. In Oakland, California? And what team did you skate with professionally? What was your first team? Uh, the Hawaiian Warriors were my first team that I skated with. And then I moved to the T-Birds. That's the team out of Los Angeles? Right. And now you're back on the Warrior team. What brought this about? Uh, I don't know. I hear they negotiated my contract, so I makes you happy. You're smiling. I'm very happy to be with the Warriors. Well, good. I know the fans up there are certainly going to be glad to have you with them. And uh, actually, in in competition with your other teammates and against other teams, what boy man skater uh, gives you the biggest problem or uh, a bad time on the track? Who is the boy or man? Oh well, I'd have to say Dave Pound and Jim Trotter are about the roughest I've ever come up across. Uh, the Dave Pound, he's on the Chicago Hawks. Right. And Jim Trotter's on the Texas Outlaws. They're both big, and uh, it's they're rough opponents. Well, now, uh, actually, and give me your honest opinion here now. All, all the fans back east are watching us, and they're going to be seeing you Wednesday. Now, well, let's see, Wednesday, October the 4th, we open up there. Now, what are your actual chances, do you think, of the Warrior team competing against all these other teams in the league? Well, I feel that we have just as much a chance as anybody else in the league. It's, um, it's going to be a tight race, but I feel the Warriors can come out on top if we continue to have teamwork. Well, thank you, Richard. You have confidence, and I know that's what our fans back east want in every player, confidence. Thanks a lot, and we'll be seeing you eventually. Thank okay? You. Here we go, the Little Fox, Eddie Williams out there against Richard Brown. Brown got him off that end of the infield, up and over the rail. He monkey clued right back in again. Little Richard Brown finds the defenses of big back there, Danny Riley and big John Johnson. I want to remind you that anti inflation prices are in effect wherever the Thunderbirds play. Believe me. Holy man. Look at that skater get over there for five, and he's going for more. They said.
send speed out. Greg Quinn, and he's on his way. He draws little Richard Brown as an opponent. He's at him again. Little Quinn stays right with him. Greg goes to him, hip to hip. Quinn going to try one more time. He missed it. He took him completely out of the world. Richard Brown, he's got his helmet on. This is Little Richard scampering out to make a time run Jubilee. Yep, Richard and Jubilee. Little Richard Brown. All right, Richard up. He's trying to cash in here. All right, Jubilee down. He's back up. Tyrone Jubilee take it. Yes, sir. Little Richard Brown and Tyrone Jubilee up and down, up and down. Jubilee back up, goes after Richard. They call the playoff, no score. Spreads his legs and catches him around his chest. Really hurt, Terry. Just in time to see him get it. Right. I'm going to try and find out the weight on that full throw, but it, it, it looks like about 230 or 240. That's a heavy guy, really. He uses well, weight like that. Nothing else you can do. It looks like he's going to use it. Okay, Charter up front controlling this. No jammers out yet. Oh, a nice move. Nice move by Richard Brown, coach of the Jersey Jolter team, and he is out. Richard Brown with a real nice stride out there. Final followed by Arnold Show on for the All-Stars, but he's got his work cut out. Oh! Oh, Richard is gonna be upset. Richard Brown death by Arnold Show. I don't know if he knew he was there, but he sure found out. Arnold Sean with a great block on Richard Brown. 4.40 left in this period. Richard back to do the blocking. Richard doing the blocking on Arnold. Oh, he's a hard blocker. Oh, that's a hip check and a leg check. You've got a tremendous balance out there to block like that. 
Chong with good effort is up. Waits for his helmet again. Trotter trying to get back, being kept up by Anthony Dominic. Oh, man. Richard must have been very upset because he took Chong right into the chairs. That's where they have to be. Got to be up front to control. Richard Brown, again, I'm surprised at the amount of jamming this man is doing. Richard Brown, the coach of the Jolters. Here comes Tyrone. He's had some hard shots. Ooh. A block to the leg, another one. That could be crippling. Another shot to his leg. Another shot. And down. Ooh, down hard. Brown really working over Tyrone. We hope his leg's all right. Richard Brown really knows how and where to hit you. All right, a lot of talent coming to the rear. Joel to coach Richard Brown. Okay. Whoop. Richard says, no, I don't like that one. There's a rookie fan club, Bill Bibbis. Got a fan? Okay, a double block against the very, very potent and exciting Richard Brown. Trotter and Vinny figured they better work this one together. Whoa! And by Richard. Too. He flew 30 feet through the air and picked up four big points. He brought the War Chiefs back to within two of the Thunderbirds here in just before halftime. Surprise, six minutes to go here. Thunderbirds take the lead for the first time this period, 12 to 9 over the War Chiefs. We have Richard Brown going out against Mike Flanagan. These are the two guys we talked about up front. They have tore the Northeast apart. Oh, what a block! What a jump block in there. Big block by Richard Brown. Mike Flanagan had no choice. He had to go down. Well, the Flanagan going to learn how to handle that in a few more years because he's going to be a good skater. Oh. Richard's a good skater right now. Tough block by Brent Futura. Big tough skater for the Thunderbirds. Brent Futura's put on about 25 pounds in the last two seasons. Oh, Aris Mendes works him over from the inside. And, oh, that's the end of Brent Futura. Richard Brown going, picking up a single. Ray Robles is the next to go. Oh, watch those ribs, boys. Richard Brown followed by David Aris Mendes. Five minutes, 18 seconds to go in this period. Going after Mike Flanagan. Headlock. Look at Rich. Oh, out. no. Get that. that Flanagan's lucky he didn't get hurt on that. Get that boy in Excedrin. Starts the whole nine yards. Well, we showed him earlier, and, and did you see what happened at that voting? She went up into the stands, and I tell you, she gave everyone a big hug and a kiss. Boy, that's people. right. But talk about 95% of the vote. What a mandate. My gosh. What office is she going to run for next? I don't know, but we got two guys out here that are trying to kill each other, so let's see what's going to happen. 28 to 26. Richard Brown in there. He's trying to get that ankle. 28 26, Thunderbirds trail. Richard Brown got rid of Mike Flanagan. Hard on that. Boom, boom, Lucero. Oh, Brent Futura is going to have a headache tomorrow morning. Richard Brown getting a whip from Bernie Congleton. Continuing on around the low side of that turn. Coming up on Mike Flanagan again. Headlock. Again. Look out, Flanagan. to be Rock and Ray Robles and Little Richard for the Maniacs. There's Rock and Ray trailing Little Richard. Little Richard walks the rail. And he gets the full six points. So does Rock and Ray. They both get six on the jump, so they have maxed out on the jet leg 12 apiece. Together, they go down as they lock elbows. Together, they go down as they lock elbows. Together, they go down as they lock elbows. And this is starting to look like a practice drill on the technique of falling. Well, they've completely forgotten the cycle now, and instead are going to concentrate ah, on each other. Come on, let's get back to the action. You're eating up time. Sure enough. Now for a new 45-second scoring cycle, new Jetters. It'll be the Roland Rocker, Brian Jacobson, for the Rockers, and Little Richard Brown of the Maniacs. Oh, and can you believe that this guy's even sitting in the infield? I don't even know who that guy is. That's easy gone. 
Oh, that's easy, Garns. Well, look at the Jenners. They both maxed out on the wall of death and the jet Bam. jump, getting the full 12 points per oh. man. But the roller rocker rolls over the rail. Little Richard trying to get around gentleman John Rodriguez and right back onto the track. The rolling rocker goes down again. This is where the blocking and the elbowing and the gouging and the kicking takes place as the Jenners try oh. to get single points. And you just saw Little Richard get one by passing the rolling rocker. He gets a whip from Kevin Ross. Three seconds Bam. left. And he evades. <laughs> the attempted flying hip block of the California kid and finishes the cycle smiling and skating backward. Rock and Ray Robles, number two. First up, the wall of death behind him, Little Richard. No, nope, they say only two points per man. What are you talking about? And only two, says the referee as they come across the jet jump. Once again, I demand just a replay. Oh, and the Little Richard freight train jumps the track. Six points, only two points for Rock and Ray. Bam. Six points for Little Richard, only two for Rock and Ray. And just like that, the Maniacs have the lead. How will this one end? Watch this shootout on the jetway. Two of the best. Little Richard, six points. Stars and stripes, six points. Little oh. Richard, six points. <laughs> Stars and stripes, six points. Oh. Even though he lost his balance, they say it was well after the jump, and they're going to give him that. Well, he deserved it. Both jetters max out on the jetway. And then they face the crowd. Test your vote. Should the alligators be banned or not? A couple of whips for Little Richard, trying to get around Dynamite. Daryl, and he 360s his way around him. Nice move by Little Richard. And that leaves room for some points to be scored by Jonathan Russell of the Sun Dogs, who now enters the big flying hip check from Brown. And Ray Robles has knocked somebody down. One thing about the riot, they're going to be a physical team. They're going to be tough. Well, they're living up to it. I don't know what... Uh, One yellow. As Sean Corbin starts awarding points. I don't know what Kenneth Loeb, the, the deal he made with Little Richard Brown was, but if he was expecting good clean... Richard Brown. What's Richard Brown going to do here? Look at him. He's going to hold that pack up near the rail and allow number 54 to get through there and score.
enjoyed the programs broadcast on Channel 5 today and will join us later this morning for another day of fine entertainment, up-to-the-minute news and Southern California's finest sports coverage. We invite you now to join our sister station, KMPC Radio, 710 on the dial, a member of Golden West Broadcasters for the finest in radio entertainment throughout the night. Now speaking on behalf of the entire staff and management of KTLA, this is Bill Barry, bidding you a pleasant good night and good morning.